What's up you guys? So in today's video, I'm going to be doing another mashup style video. And for today's video, I'm doing two, I guess, fan favorites. I'm doing a little bit of Slash. And I'm taking a little bit of his solo from Sweet Child of Mine. And I'm putting it together with a little bit of Marty Friedman. More specifically, his solo from Symphony of Destruction with Megadeth. Now, it's really cool how these two pieces of those solos actually come together really, really well. Um, and I think this is something that we should just start exploring a lot more, just grabbing different moves from different spots and seeing how they mix and match. I'm also going to be talking a little bit about the concepts behind the actual playing of those solos, so what scales they're using and all that kind of cool stuff. But before I get on to the actual video, I want to invite you guys over to my Patreon account. If you're interested in finding out the tabs for the actual link at the beginning of the video, you can find that there. You can also find the backing track um, so that you can jam and, and just practice the actual lick a little bit um, over a more, I guess, applied way or in a more applied way. Okay, so let's get started with the um, slash section, which is this guy right here. Now it's pretty obvious that that's the intro lick or riff or whatever to the Sweet Child of Mine solo and most of the notes are actually exactly the same as the solo which I tend not to do a lot for these videos. I really do like to mix it up a little bit and just do something based off of the original. But today's licks were just so iconic that I really had to use um, the original ones. Um, and pretty much that whole section is based around the E harmonic minor scale. And as you can tell, if you just mess around with the scale a tiny bit, it's going to keep sounding like that section. So if you want to sound a little bit more like that, but not do exactly the same lick as you can find in the solo, play a little bit with the phrasing of what's going on in that lick and just play around with the harmonic minor scale in general. And it, you're going to get a very similar type of sound. There's also some hammer-ons, a little bit of thrills here and there, and a little bit of a, I guess you could call semi-neoclassical thing going on on that top string. Now on to the actual transition, and we're going to go into that Marty Friedman type of Symphony of Destruction type of lick. There's a bunch of different ways you can look at this, what's actually happening here. My favorite way of looking at it, and it's the way I'm going to talk about it here in the video, is playing the E minor scale. Yeah, your straight up E minor scale, but adding in that blues note right at the, at the third string over at that 15th fret. If you're into cage, that E position, and yet you're just adding in that, that bit of, of that bluesy note. Now, the interesting thing is the way that Marty actually applies this. And what he does is he concentrates on the one, the flat three, and the flat five. Now, what you're going to get through concentrating on those three specific tones, an E diminished arpeggio. And that's why you get that dark, ominous sound from just that top movement on those first three notes that go on in the solo. So, yeah, again... You already have the elements for the slash section. So if you want to get the elements from this section, I would really just say wind up a little bit of the E minor scale and just mix it up a tiny bit with um, that flat five from the blue scale. Um, and now what you want to do is just play with that section a tiny bit. It's going to look a little bit like this. And as you can notice, it really does sound quite a bit like what Marty is doing in that specific solo. So yeah, mix those two together and it sounds really good. Now the next step, I would say messing around with E harmonic minor and messing around with your just E minor and E diminished or E blues, however you want to look at it. It's going to sound something like this.
And to me, that sounds pretty freaking cool. So I, I would say grab a little of what the masters and what the fan favorites are doing out there incorporate it into your own playing come up with something new all right so that's it for today's video i want to invite you guys over to all of my social media i'm on instagram i'm on facebook i'm on patreon which i already mentioned and i guess i gotta plug it in again now so yeah if you want to join me over at patreon for just five dollars a month you get all the backing tracks you also get the notation and the tablature yeah you know those good old tabs that everyone wants um, and you also get um, just a bunch of, of good stuff like all of my IG licks that I post on regularly on Instagram and a lot of supplemental material. Um, and that's it. Yeah. It, um, if you want to learn more about my own stuff, you want to check out my album, my book, just go on to my website, juanzonmusic.com. And I guess that's it. Thanks for watching.